It's National Animal Shelter Appreciation Week. You might not have known that. So that means it's time to recognize all the hard work of the volunteers who take care of those unwanted dogs and cats. The National Humane Society is raising awareness and money through a book featuring paintings of rescued dogs. Ron Burns is the Humane Society's official artist, and he joins us live from Phoenix. I know it's early there, Ron. Thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me on the show and spreading oh, the word. We're, we're so glad to have you here. Well, why, thank you. Why did you think you had, what compelled you, I guess, to move your art into a venue that would help shelter animals? Uh, well, I, you know, like a lot of artists, searching for something to paint and what motivated me and what moved me. And I guess for me, instead of uh, bright, beautiful landscapes, it was my own pets. I started painting our own cats and dogs. And, uh, you know, they were from shelters. And when they started selling, I thought, you know, I've got to be able to do something that gives back to the community. And it was just a natural thing for us to get involved with shelters and start giving back to shelters where we receive some of the imagery to do the different paintings for my pets. And I know the Humane Society says 55% of Americans think it's better to adopt an animal from a shelter as opposed yeah. to purchasing a pet, but there are still a lot of animals in these shelters, aren't there? Oh, yeah. Well, the unfortunate thing is the other part of the numbers there is 50% or more think that they should adopt from a shelter, but only about 18% do. Uh, so what we try to do, at least through the use of the colorful art that I do, is paint a positive picture about the animals that are available and up for adoption. Okay. We have a picture of the black and white picture the dog that you sent us uh, mm -hmm. over the weekend. Tell me about this dog. Well, that dog, his name was Orville. I met him, uh, gosh, a number of years ago now. He was in a shelter here in Arizona, and I travel around and go to different shelters and uh, get some subject matter. And He was just a great dog, and you can tell from the photograph a lot of emotions, a lot of inspiration. Uh, you know, these dogs and cats, they give unconditional love all day, every day, and I feel like it's just an honor that I get to paint these animals and portray that love and those emotions in the paintings that and, I do. And there's a picture of Orville now, and you it's amazing how you have this Matisse-inspired uh, way of painting, as the New York Daily News uh, says, but looking at this dog, you can really tell that this is Orville. And I know you've got an, an entire book out just in time for Christmas. This is a great idea. Tell me about this book and what you're going to do to help raise money for the Humane Society. Well, thank you for the plug, Christy. But uh, the book is, uh, we're donating a dollar for every book that's sold between now and Christmas, and it'll go to the Humane Society of the United States. And it's, it's, it, it's our way of helping to raise some funds for the Humane, Humane Society of the United States. But it's also, uh, I think, just a good way to get the word out so people know about the good work that they do and more importantly it's the great work that these shelters around the country uh, the work that they do they do uh, tireless work day in day out to find homes for all these animals and if anybody's ever adopted an animal from a shelter you get love and joy all year round yeah and this is a great way to display that give give the animal lover a, a great gift and give the humane society a great gift as well ron burns always good to see you hey thanks Christy. thank you so much for all your work nice to see you again